One day my brother and I were listening to a CD in my truck, we were driving somewhere, and some old blues guy, and um, <clears throat> he said it sounds like he's just making it up as he goes. And that's pretty much the early blues. They were pretty much making it up as they went along. So, this video is just going to be about some ideas that you can just make stuff up. their song they would play their song and it wouldn't even you know you'd hear a second version of it or every time they played it it would be a little bit different or over a course of many years it would be a lot different <coughs> pardon me so uh, when I make stuff up I'm always thinking when I think in open tuning I'm thinking of the shuffle Constant bass thing, alternating bass. I'm thinking in terms of strumming. Picking, strumming, uh, swing eighth bass. There's the uh, straight eighth bass. This has now moved to here, and this has moved to here, okay? And this, which would be here, is now here. And you can hear that. If you were listening to somebody like uh, Charlie Patton, use that a lot. Because this, as I said earlier, was moved up to here, and this has been moved here, 
and then this and then it just repeats okay because now if you had a, your extended scale pentatonic scale this part here has now all been moved up here so you can use that all the way across an angle. Use this G. Maybe your bottom, your top string open. 
other technique that's important to get is this. A lot of times, most of my playing, I'm using these two fingers. If you were using a flat pick, you would probably be playing like this and using this finger. Okay? But it's important to get this. Sliding into the 
first note, hitting the G, hitting the D, and then hitting hitting the, the low D, because that's your five chord. And then starting all over again.
skipping a string, your fifth on your first string, skipping a string, your B string, and doing your uh, seventh on your third string. Okay? So it's a half step. These are a half step together. And then you're going to a whole step. Okay? So you're going. So that's another good player. Or or and then back to your one. Sometimes I'll use one string when I'm doing a turn around. I'll go. on your six string too. Okay? So So, <clears throat> don't forget this. This motion. Because you're going to be using that a lot. strumming plus my constant bass plus you can mix all those things up and I showed you your G here you know your C here your D is also here and your C turn around that your scale has moved so this which used to be here is now up here but because the extension of your G scale has been moved up as well you can use all these notes straight across, you don't have to go up here. That seventh works fine. Into your seventh. You can leave it open. So just start out uh, slowly strumming so sometimes you want a strummy sound sometimes you want a choppy clean you know um, a choppy sound sometimes you want a tight clean sound you want to mix it all up
sit there. this finger a lot too. Another thing that I do is, um, and I got this from Robert Johnson, is to do this. Is to use that D in there. Slam that down. So you want to get louder, softer, louder, softer, and dynamics. showed you this. Your, your scale being moved up. It's the same here. Thank you. 
between um, <coughs> strumming plus uh, your constant bass, straight eighth, swing eighth, um, and alternating, and that's a straight eighth alternating. This is a swing eighth alternating. Okay, um, between all those things and knowing where your chords are. stuff on one chord, just your one chord. You don't have to use them for a turnaround. You could just stay on one chord. And another thing to do too that's interesting is that once in a while, <clears throat> pick back close to the bridge if you're on an acoustic guitar. sharper sound so you can mix it all up You have all this area. If you're on an acoustic guitar, it's the same thing. So it sounds sharper back there. And I learned this from Lightning Hopkins actually. And it gets thicker as you move closer up. So you can use all the, all those dynamics in your to play. Right? Some stuff you're gonna want to. your minors, um, playing with all your chords, knowing your chords all over the neck, or as many inversions of your chords, and uh, all that stuff together, <clears throat> because the old guys just played from their gut.
I mean, they didn't know scales, they didn't know musical theory. Um, one farmer learned something from another farmer, and then he twisted it and did his thing, because the blues, you know, it comes from slaves who were farmers, you know, and, and um, they just played from their gut, not their head. So just make stuff up. That's what I do all the time. And if you want to learn uh, some of the old guys' stuff note for note, go ahead. I know some of it note for note. Some of it I've forgotten over the years because um, I've come up with a new interpretation of a particular song or I've twisted something and forgotten the original version, but I still have the main riff. So listen, all the old guys are on YouTube, uh, Charlie Patton, Sunhouse. Don't judge Sunhouse by his videos that you see him playing in now because you go back to his 1920s recordings he was the best ever uh he hadn't played in 30 years so that's why you know he could still sing when he was old and they recorded those videos in the 60s but he wasn't as good a player anymore because he had to re relearn how to play um so yeah listen to all those guys tune to them if you want to learn their stuff note for note uh i know where they play all over the neck learning this stuff it should be easier for you to pick up if you want to learn their songs um and sometimes you might listen to their songs and it might inspire you to make a different interpretation of that song right you won't play it exactly the way they do but that's your interpretation and i've never heard any blues guy who sounded exactly like another blues guy okay i've listened to stevie ray vaughn um whom i love uh, play this guy is crying and he does not sound anywhere near the way that Elmore James sounded when he played it. They both had their own way of doing it. So you have to find your own way to play the songs and to be inspired and you have to play like you. Okay? There's a whole bunch of people that are try to emulate Stevie Ray Vaughan. I get it. Whatever. Do your own thing. Um, if you will, because the blues is not top 40 music. It's just a great improvisational musical style that you can express yourself with. And you can make stuff up and plug and play and whether it be an open G tuning, open D. You can make a whole career playing in an open tuning. Elmore James did it, you know, uh, Derek Trucks. There's a whole bunch of people. So pick a tuning you like. I like D and G. That's where I mostly stick. Open A, open E. Those intervals. I do some C. I like drop D. I like standard tuning. Anyway, thanks for watching.